Hi Leo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo Sun Moon or Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo, and the message is actually for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, everything is located down below in the description box. My website link, Instagram handle, all that good stuff. That was like a little tempting to take. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. What did I say? Yeah, everything is down below. And oh my gosh, yeah, thanks so much for all your support. Here we go. <laughs> all right, we have the forest. That was the first one that came out. Well, that is very interesting. So we have agape, which is unconditional love. And then we also have the venom and the forest. Okay, so energetically, you could be feeling as though something is like very toxic. You could be feeling that this is like possibly something on the outskirts of whatever you're dealing with, because I feel like right now you could be trying to find the way out. I always mess up the saying. I should probably stop saying that and maybe I would say it right. Seeing the wood through the trees. <laughs> what is it? I always struggle with it. What is it? What? Seeing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm probably going to Google it, to be honest. I'm going to. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, Leo. I was right. There are a couple ways that people say it, but yeah. See the wood for the trees. And so it's this whole thing about um, someone could be very involved in the details of something so you don't notice what is important about the thing as a whole. Okay, so there could be something there about the way that you're navigating a particular situation. It could be a relationship, it could be involving work. Something could be like you're finding your way out of some particular energy because it feels like maybe this, maybe you feel like this is encroaching a little bit on your situation with the venom, okay? And then we have this unconditional love, which is what a fascinating balance between both of them. Maybe that's a person here that in your life or there could be something here about coming into alignment will help you to see the situation a little bit more accurately or find your way. This could be almost like a compass. We have the parsec. Either you guys, I, there's two ways that I put this, if you can see, because there's like these little lights. So it feels almost like in a situation, you're either in a, in a relationship and there's another energy that's at a distance from you that's like maybe by themselves or vice versa. It's going to be different for all of you. You could be the one here and you feel like they're two together over here. It, this can be talking about your parents or you feel like it's in a work environment, or for some of you, heaven forbid, there's a couple coming against you, <laughs> okay? I don't really know how it's playing out, but yeah, okay. So yeah, definitely unconditional love would help the whole situation in general. I think if you can come into alignment and if you are able to accomplish this, you'll move up in vibration, like handling the situation with grace and being able to um, look at this en this energy. I think that's where either a solution will come in or you will be in alignment back with yourself. This is very tricky. We all deal with this as humans. So it's like, you can even be a good human and be toxic sometimes, okay? That's very real. But it can talk about how yeah, we have this situation building. This could be some energetic buildup. That's always how I see the supernova. It generally happens in these type of dynamics because I've talked about this with the three bacteria with Robert Sapolsky. 
how like there's a bacteria that creates venom or it's a poison. I don't know. And it has to take in all this extra energy to protect itself from its own poison that it creates. And then there's a second bacteria that I know it sounds weird, but this exists in humans. That's why I talk about like biology and all the nerdy things that I do because like there are certain things that happen either when you eat specific foods, you know, like this can be a person that takes in maybe even some kind of chemical and and what can happen it that's why i relate the bacteria in a really weird human way because there's a bacteria that creates this venom and then there's a second bacteria that has to create a transporter that can that can accept the venom but it has to again take in a lot of energy to produce the transporter so that it can actually like accept a poison and not get damaged by it but I was like, yeah, if you were to relate that in human terms, that would be a person that is maybe like eating a little bit more to try to comfort themselves from something very toxic that's coming at them. You know, that's a lot of human development that happens psychologically. You know, we have these phases of development that humans go through, the oral anal phase, the narcissistic phase, and there can be little things or traumatic things that happen during those phases of development that turn into bigger things down the road. So, yeah, fascinating. So we've got this thing here. There's the telescope. There could be a person here like trying to figure out details. This could be even a bit of obsession. There's a person here that's zeroed in. You're either zeroed in on someone or they're zeroed in on you. I'm not totally sure the dynamic, but we'll try to see if we can get some details. Okay, we've got a new thing. You might be feeling as though you're taking new action or going towards something brand new. We have the Ace of Wands and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Walking away, leaving something behind, feeling like there's dissatisfaction. Some of you guys are either literal moving or you're like, I don't know, maybe someone's walking away from you or you're walking away from someone leaving someone or something behind. Yeah, there it is right there. So this is the shadow self. Everyone has one. Okay. Everyone has one. Aha. Okay. Got to cover her up. We have the full card. That's a brand new chapter. Goodness. And then we have the three of cups which can talk about social situations, friendships. So some of you guys might be about to do something big. You might be, um, maybe there's a preparation to take a leap in a very brand new direction or, or brand new path. You might wanna do something really out of the norm. Okay, you might feel inspired or for some of you guys that may, might even light up the path for you. Maybe it's something like that. But it looks like someone is not leaving without a bang <laughs> with the supernova. Sometimes that happens like, okay. But this is just energetic buildup, you know? Doesn't have to be this crazy intentional, like I'm gonna do this on purpose. This is just like emotional buildups that happen from this, this whole dynamic taking place. Okay. Um, let's get the deets. Let's see. All right. To be honest, Leo, what I'm getting from this situation, there's some kind of energy that is like super angelic. Seriously, you could never like... Um, change this person just sees the good in everyone almost to a point that people think it's naive or stupid but this person is seriously like um they really are in some kind of alignment and there's a counterbalance of the energy which is coming out as this venom that's coming in possibly toward this energy okay whatever that looks like again there's the synthesis of the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Wow. This could be friendships. <laughs> the 
that's so interesting. There could have been a friendship with this person. This person might be dealing, um, this is an empath, okay? So I'm just gonna talk about it energetically like that. It's not to say that this person is a full-blown saint. They probably, but whenever this dynamic happens, the empath will mirror and take on like whatever the narcissistic fleas. That's just what happens, sorry. You can look up Sam Bachman and look into the all to the details because it's, it's it's like there's way too much information out there now, but that's generally what happens. Okay. Oh come on, come on cards. Oh good, we have the Sun card. So things are being illuminated. We have the Page of Swords and the Sun card. This is really beautiful. Some of you guys. You might be making some moves right now or you're gathering more information. This is again a Leo card. This is so beautiful. So you could be making movements at this time. Um, this is a lot of positivity. There could be something lighting up with the sun card, could bring in some confidence. Aha, and then we have the five of cups. Okay, well that, that kind of makes sense because I'm seeing for some of you guys, if you decide to step into this new energy you might be looking back on something or i don't know maybe there's something about you wish another energy would come with you we have the justice card yeah and the four of cups Whew. okay wow this is like feeling blindfolded or, you know, like, and some regrets because this can be complacency or apathy or even depression because there could be an energy or something that is, a, there's a person here that might get justice or there could be something about the courts involved or legal. There could be legal involvement going on here. We have the seven of cups. It's kind of appropriate right now for Libra season because we're right in the midst of that. So Venus coming out of retrograde, it can start writing situations that were wronged, you know, people that had been bullied or gone through situations like that. That's why I'm, I'm not even making it up. It's the cards. So there's the devil and there's the venom right there. Okay, we have the moon. Oh, how freaking appropriate. Wow. So we have eclipse. We have this eclipse coming in. So you literally have across from each other. There's the moon and the sun. How very fascinating. We have the higher font. And then, man, this page of pentacles wants to come out a lot. We have the page of pentacles. She's like my little sensual subductress. And then we have the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna say this straight up. Some of you guys, there could be something new that you wanna move toward and you might feel like you're trying to like, some of you guys might already be in the midst of a new chapter because it's showing me that in the past you had already walked away. So it's the timeline is going to be fluid for all of you, but it could be, seem like you're walking away from one situation. Some of you guys, it could have even been a third party situation, heaven forbid, but I feel like, um, when you step into this new energy, I don't know, Leo. There are things you might not see because I'm seeing something there around like 
a little bit of regret or feeling like it was a mistake to do this because right now in this current energy with the venus energy things can be made right they could just be clearing up and conversations so some of you guys that could be the case these can be friendships but there could be a person here that they might be dealing with some other situation completely separate from you leo seriously that's why i was talking a little bit about this like you've got a person here this person might be a friend. They might be in a relationship. We have the higher font right here. They're either in a relationship or they're like still tied up to some kind of situation. And they, this person is seriously like dealing with some kind of trauma. So they're like reflecting what they're, what is so like up in their face, you know? everyone does that in general everyone has mirror neurons and what happens if is if you become traumatized to any extent you have mirror neurons that will literally kick on and they start mirroring whatever or whoever is in your environment to survive your current like you have all these survival mechanisms that are already biologically put in place inside of your body so that's why i was pointing that out this could be a person here that's dealing with CPTSD. Some of you guys, it's like when it comes to this person, I know it's easier said than done because you might feel like there's a genuine connection or you want to, there could be a friendship here for some of you guys with the three of cups. But it's like sometimes it can be challenging not to take it personal what this person is doing or saying. Okay. I don't know. There could be some lessons here that are tied up. I think karma is pretty much just like balancing everything out during this season, especially Libra season. Hmm. There's a buildup happening <laughs> with the supernova card. I don't know how it's going to play out. Sometimes it can surprisingly come from like any of these situations. We have a lot of Piscean energy. But there's a person here, this Seven of Cups, especially recently, that's my Limerence card. That can be a person dealing with lethargy or it seems like they're in some kind of illusion. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. This person could be like struggling to break out of, like I said, Limerence. Limerence is like super insane. But that can typically happen after some kind of narcissistic relationship or dynamic. You'll you can go you don't always have to but sometimes you can go into another relationship and or there's like another relationship that presents itself like a person will come into your environment it's something that was manifested by you and then you put that person or energy on a pedestal and then like you might not even be totally connected to that person but you just you're using that person to um like dissociate from whatever painful situation is going on in your current environment that i oh being human is so weird i don't really know what to say but anyway let's dive into the extended see whatever else wants to come out about this situation leo if you guys want to join me over there as always feel free go down below click on the vimeo link See you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.